Grim Pantry at Backwater Swamp. My favorite map. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this amazing game of Dead by Daylight. Today, we're playing Hillbilly in the new emblem system. Blum, 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 blum. And, uh, yeah, no, it's everything. It is the... Ow. Pantry. I thought I made it through the door. It is a tight door. Mmm. Dory. Oh, my. Are they over here? Did I... Oh, did I see a head next to my totem? I did. Or indeed did. Okay, don't drop that shit. Yeah. Did that early chaser hit. Now, a lot of people were concerned with instant downs being a problem. And I say... Nay, sir. I know, I took the chaser hit because I wanted to chase somebody else. Where did the scratch marks go? They're over here. I'm still technically in chase. Where the hell is Oh, there she is. I found her. So they're running. That's good. Kept him as busy as I could. Good. Good. Let me get that free swing in on there. Now, where did she go? She is gone? I can't tell. Damn, girl. We're just changing out. I like this. Now, why did we change out, Miss Lori? Damn. Okay. I mean, fair is fair. They found the totem in the first five seconds. That's scary. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and defend our hex totem while also killing the shit out of you. That sounds good. Let's do just that. Hi, Claudie. Oh, didn't get that chaser, did ya? Mmm, ended that chase like a boss. So you get 55 points per hit. And all these urban evasions. That's fantastic. Hmm, did I catch someone? Oh, sweetheart. We're gonna leave you there, because you're worth points to me. Making sure this thing doesn't break. And she dies. I'm good with both. I really am. Like, unbelievably good with both. Did I? Oh. That's what I like to see there. That's what I like to see there. Ah, Darn. Got it. So again, 55 points, and I would like to make sure she dies. Hey, you. All right, we're gonna have to take that. So I need to come kill Claudette quickly. Wherever you may have gone, you silly Billy. Let's kill you outright. Because as long as I keep the generators busy, as long as I keep everyone busy, I'm good with busy. Busy is good. Okay. Let's pretend like they weren't going for that. And damage this some more. Because five generators per second grants me 100 points. And the time's ticking, kids. And it's ticking, kids. Oh, so very ticking. Kids. Hmm. I think I saved that person. I'll trade. I'll trade. I'm good with this. I'm good with this. <laughs> Billy. Oh God. My fat butt. Yep, that's protected. And two people on hooks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Go for a save. I dare you. I dare you, I double dog dare you. Triple dog dare you. It was a triple dog dare, kids. They're too scared. They won't. Well, they took the dare. All right, well, again, we're just gonna keep exchanging them here. I'm good at this. It's points for me. Constant damage. Good stuff. I think she's actually dead. Hmm. So 
somebody follow me up here? Those scratch marks were awkwardly reminiscent of your death! How dare you, madam. Oh, do you think there was a pallet there? Ooh. There we go. Now I got you. Well, now you could die. Who didn't we ever hook? Is that that box guy name thing? Hmm. Well, she at least saved them from getting generators, right? They're still here. Interesting. That's not in range of my barbecue and chili. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I've been playing with non-stop Survive with Friends today. Like, it's unbelievable how many teams there are that have actually lost my mind. So I, I'm being ultra defensive today. Uh, mostly because if I see one person being defensive, I'll make sure the rest die. See, they're always here. Whether I want them to be or not, they're always here. Oof! That's Brim Burst, though! Oh, you screwed up. This is pallet. No, there was no pallet. You're just dead now. Well, fair enough. Five generators still on the clock, two people outright murdered. Mmm. Hope there's some camping salt at the end. Davy with that dead hard. Can't do that again, can you? Well, well, let's find out. We got what? One more generator to go. Sounds good. We're gonna go ahead and place you on the furthest hook I know of. In the middle of nowhere. Now how? Pray tell, did she get within range? She didn't. She was hidden behind a generator. How smart. How quick, how thoughtful. Tell you what, I won't chainsaw you. Instead, basic hits. Right? Basic hits. I get two, right? She got a speed boost. She's running. Oh, no. Kids, I don't know what I'll do. Oh shit, where's she going? Oh god, so close. Now let's figure out where I can kill you. Right there. She only ran to her right. If she only ran to her right now. If she's got Decisive Strike, 35%, she can get it. Because I can't even get through here. Jeez, man. So she can get it. Decisive Strike. Ooh. Man, that door, that door was scaring me legit. I couldn't even walk through. I was walking forward. I've actually never seen it spawn there. But I've actually always hated these. These little light bulbs actually stop you from moving forward. It's a terrible, terrible thing. But we did it. Nasty map. Three generators. That's what you get. See, playing defensive against a team of people who are survived friends or, you know, they, they do a lot of altruistic things, you punish them. You punish the shit out of them by defen- Did I get merciless? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. I wanted to see the emblems. Oh, look at that. Two, three iridescence, but chaser, not so much. And we, uh, we absolutely did our best there. Um, see, I told you, camping. See, when anyone, anyone ever says camping and laughs and tries to make that look like a bad thing, that person's just an idiot. Anyone who thinks camping's a bad thing, it's just a buzzword that we put over the word defense, which has to be allowed. Again, I knew that this team was trying to be overly altruistic. And if you're going to be a survivor team and you realize the killer killed your friend at five generators right next to a hex totem that three of you at least saw and you are not showing up on barbecue and chili, 
defense is the best thing to do. Now, if you're like, oh, I never camp, I just walk away, I feel that's a dumb strategy because if you know they're coming, if you know they're nowhere far away, you have no reason to leave. And to make sure that they die faster, I mean, hell, I, the only thing I couldn't get was Chaser. And that's because Chaser requires, uh, to get it perfectly, is 22 perfect chases in a row. And what that means is during the start of the chase, you have to hit them in 15 seconds. And every time you hit them and they run away, that's the second chase is them getting that distance. And that's very unlikely for you to get uh, the perfect points on that hit. So it'll take you time unless you go and find chase someone else. You need 22 of those within 15 second hits. Um, that does include your chainsaw, but of course your chainsaw puts them down on the ground. Now, the reason chaser is so hard to get is because, not not because of instant down powers, because the amount of chases you have to get into are very unrealistic to the amount of hooks you have available. If you were to knock everybody down, put them on a hook, let them get down, knock them down again, uh, there's still not enough chases to get you into iridescent, unfortunately. Uh, when they say they don't, you shouldn't expect iridescent, they're kind of right on the aspect of you shouldn't expect iridescent, but to me, making one impossible for how good I did that game, I played it well. And to be honest, I those chases ended well, but the amount of chases, I guess that's the problem with chases. It's not how good you chase, it is how much you chase and how much chase you're willing to let them have. Because this is what I meant when certain killers are better. Certain killers are going to do chaser better because they have to hit multiple times. But you're obviously, obviously going to struggle in devout for kills and you're also going to struggle in malicious for uh, hooks. Because remember that malicious is really only about hooks, which I find it funny because it says it applies, applying pressure on survivors is the way to get this. You will get points by hurting them, which is kind of true, not really. Interrupting them, again, kind of true, not really. And downing survivors, again, kind of true, not really. Hooked is the only point, like all they had to do was say, you get points for each time you hook a survivor. You do get the malicious points on hits, but they get to take away your malicious points every time they heal. So essentially, anytime they heal up, you've lost your malicious points. Anytime you drop them back down and they heal back up, you, it's, you lose the same amount. The only time that you get to keep some is when it goes from a hook they pull them off the hook, and they can only heal them one state instead of two. If they heal them directly off the ground to full life, they took both your malicious points away. So you kind of bank one extra malicious point by hooking them. But it's like, oh, it's almost not worth it. And then I'm actually not even sure if that counts for borrowed time. So if you make a hit during borrowed time, they heal from that, then heal from the injured or, you know... Whatever it is that they want to do, I'm not exactly sure. And then do traps count? That's something I've been considering and I am willing to go test. But so far, I've only played a couple of games as Killer and either it's been all Pip or as Hillbilly, it's been Domination. But if I play other Killers, like Freddy I wasn't doing so hot with, Doctor I wasn't doing so hot with, it wasn't even getting Chaser very well. Mainly because Doctors screws your Chaser because you have to spend time zapping him, which drops your Chaser points. Uh, and then if you don't kill them, obviously you lack in these two, but he does really good in Gatekeeper because you can keep them busy for quite some time, but yeah, that is what it is. Um, nothing else to talk about here. I will be coming out with a let's discuss about the emblems for each survivor and killer because I've kind of found these little niches about things you can focus in without counting points that would help you achieve a win. Um, and if you're one of those people like, I don't care about pips, then keep playing. Who cares then? <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this thank you all for watching don't forget that notification bell like i said i'm doing a fortnite stream two times next week there's a stream scheduled down below with the times and games we're playing when and where just check it out it's a google doc it's super easy just click it look at it be like ah he does this and um there's the myers guide the calculations for the emblems if you want to know how i got the calculations and uh that's about it and as always good game